Cat15 video series. Registration 101, how to register for classes using Bison Web. Please review your total earned credits for your classification status to determine what day you will register. Undergraduate classifications, senior 90 plus earned credit, juniors 60 to 89 earned credit hours, sophomores 30 to 59 earned credit hours, and freshmen 0 to 29 earned credit hours. General Registration Knowledge Always refer to your degree works when selecting courses. Select major courses first, minor courses second, and university required courses last. To be considered a full-time student, you must register for a minimum of 12 credits. To stay on track to graduate in four years, the recommended amount is 15. You cannot register for a class if you have not taken the prerequisite for it. If you have taken a prerequisite course, please contact the department for that course. You must earn a minimum of a C or better in major courses, otherwise you will have to retake the course. Things to know. The spring registration period or the add drop period Add drop versus withdrawals. Add drop, students can only add or drop courses during the registration period. Withdrawals, students may withdraw from a course up to 12 weeks after the first day of classes. Students without holds can withdraw from a course via Bison Web. Students with holds must complete the online withdrawal form available on the Office of the Registrar website under Forms. Registration Holds Registration holds are issued for a variety of reasons, including financial, medical, and academic reasons. Registration holds must be cleared before or during the add drop period. COAS advisors do not and cannot lift holds. The office that issued the hold is the only office able to remove the hold. During registration, students may receive a error message. COAS advisors do not lift restrictions for error messages. You must contact the department for which the course you're trying to register is located. When a section of a course fills to the enrollment limit, students attempting to register through Bison Web will receive a registration error message that a waitlist exists. The student will then be given the option of adding themselves to the waitlist for the course. If a student already enrolled in the course should drop, that seat will only be available to students already on the waitlist and will not become available for registration through Bison Web for students not on the waitlist. Students must attempt to register for the course via the Bison Web in order to be offered the waitlist option. When a seat becomes available, the first student on the waitlist will receive an email notification to their preferred email address. Students can confirm their preferred email address on Bison Web. When a seat becomes available, 
A student will have 8 to 24 hours from the time of the email to register for the class through Bison Web. It is the student's responsibility to check their preferred email once on a waitlist. If they do not register for the class during that time period, the seat will be offered to the next student on the waitlist. Registration via Bison Web is available daily from 9 a.m. to midnight. Students must have an email address on file or they will not receive the notification and lose their opportunity to register. Time conflicts. You must request a course approval from a professor whose class overlaps. A student must have a GPA of 3.0 or higher to seek advisor's permission to register for 21 credits. Anything over 21 credits, students must seek the approval of the College of Arts and Sciences Dean. Students may repeat a course they have earned a D or an F in. The lower grade will not be a part of the GPA calculation but it will still appear on the student's official transcript. Courses can only repeat once. Repeated courses that have earned two letter grades will make students ineligible for honors distinction. Changing your major. Students must submit a transfer request form, also known as a change of major form, via the online DocuSign form. The form can be located on the Office of the Registrar website under the tab for forms. Incoming fall first year students cannot complete a change of major form until the following semester, spring. Students must have at least a 2.5 GPA to change their major.
Steps on Registering for Classes on Bison Web. First, log into your Bison Web. Click on Student Services. Over to the right hand side, you will see a link for registration. Click on Registration and then choose the option for Add and Drop Classes. When you select Add or Drop, you will be prompted to add your student pin, also known as your alternate pin. Your alternate pin is distributed every semester via email from your academic advisor a week to a few days before your registration period. Please refer to your email to find your alternate pin and submit that pin to this location. If you have pre-prepared and have all your CRN numbers, you may enter them into the boxes located on your worksheet. Once you have entered all of the CRN numbers on your worksheet, you will hit Submit Changes. All courses that are open and available for you to register will be added to your current schedule at the top of the screen. Once you input your alternate pin, you will then be directed to the registration screen. It will have an option for course lookup or class search. Click class search and then you will be directed to select the term for which you are searching. Please select either fall or spring semester for what you are registering. Use the selection options below to search the class schedule for the term chosen. You may choose any combination of courses to search, but you must select at least one subject. When your selection is complete, click Get Classes to perform the search and display your choices.
Once you have made your selection, all the courses listed under the subject will appear. Click on each course that you are interested in to view the sections, the available seats, times, days, and the instructors. Once you've made your subject selection or course selection, the course will open allowing you to see the different sections, the times, the days, and who teaches the course. It will also inform you of the capacity of seats available, who is actually registered for the course, how many seats are remaining in the course, and it will also tell you if there is a wait list capacity of the waitlist, actual people on the waitlist, and who or how many seats are remaining on the waitlist. There will be a box on the left hand side under select that will allow you to check the course that you would like to register for. Once you've checked off the course you would like to register for, you would click on the register button and complete your process. If you do not encounter any issues, the courses that you have selected will appear under your current schedule. They will be listed under Web Register. During registration, you may encounter common error messages. Prerequisite test for error. You have not met the minimum grade required to register for the course. During registration, all students pre-register for the following semester, which means you may be sitting in the course that is the prerequisite for the course you want to register. Contact the department to receive a restriction lift. Departmental error. Courses may be outside your major department or minor or reserved for majors only. Contact the department of the course for which you're trying to register. Time conflict. Course conflicts with another course. Check your schedule for time conflict and pick a different time. Seek permission from the instructor's course that you will leave early or arrive late to. 
than email advisor approval. You are not permitted to register at this time. You are not the classification available to register for the current day. You are trying to register outside of the hours of 9 a.m. and 12 midnight. SR, you are not authorized to register. If you receive this error message, please contact the Office of the Registrar as soon as possible. Hold. Holds are added for various reasons. Please contact either the Bursar Office or Financial Aid if it is a financial hold. If it's a medical hold, please contact the Medical Center, Student Health Center. If it is an academic hold, please contact your department advisor or the advisors in the Center for Academic Excellence. Congratulations, you are now registered for courses. To view your schedule, click View Schedule by Day and Time at the bottom of your Add Drop Classes screen. If you would like to search for only online classes, go to the Registration tab, click on Look Up Classes to Add, select Advanced Search for the semester that you choose, highlight all subjects, and type online in the title section, then click Search. All courses that will be available online will list and display. Congratulations, you are now registration ready. For more videos and information related to advising, please visit the website at ous.howard.edu.